All right. Hey, everybody. Well, welcome to the stream. Sorry that, uh, uh, that we're late. I had some uh, family business I had to take care of. Um, and uh, But here we are, and it uh, seems like incredible that Beta 8 is around the corner, but it's true. Uh, we're targeting uh, our release just after Thanksgiving. Um, so we already have a new next version. Um, and there have been some big changes. So um, probably the biggest I'm trying to think through what has changed. Well, first of all, I've really changed the stock algorithm significantly. So the stock prices are going to be a lot lower. They may be too low. We will find out. That's why we're going to play some multiplayer today. Um, and also another big change is um, the uh, advanced buildings unlocked differently now. Level two, patent lab, engineering lab, patent office. I better find you figure out what these buildings are actually called. <laughs> They've been called so many things that sometimes I call them the wrong names. Patent lab, engineering lab unlocks at level two. Hacker array, pleasure dome unlock at level three. Your first off-world market unlocks at level four. Your second off-world market unlocks at level five. So, we will see how that goes. I know that uh, I see the game slayers here. So, um, I know that there will at least be um, someone who might be willing to play a multiplayer game. So, um, host lobby. The unlikely chance that we'll get five people I can observe. Wow, this coffee tastes way too much like actual coffee. Um, I must have put, I put far too little uh, creamer in. Yeah, so the, the theory is, is that it would be interesting, um, it would be interesting, to, I think, to have uh, interesting decision point at level four. If we get the stock algorithm right, um, uh, well, yeah, so the game server just mentioned up, uh, like the hacker already changed, pleasure zone, most important. Well, here's the thing. So now, if you if you care about a pleasure dome enough that you may want to use the claim at level two, um, well, he's saying that he does that anyway. I'm not sure everyone's going to do that, but it definitely puts you in the situation where you're like, okay, I know I have to basically throw a claim away at level two to get the ideal pleasure dome spot, which is kind of an interesting choice, right? Um, and, uh, but then also at level four now, you're going to have to have a choice. Like, there's already kind of this thing at level four, if we get, if we get the stock prices right, where you're like you know, almost afraid to upgrade to level five because you know that um, you might be vulnerable to, to someone making a run on your stock when you spend all your money to go level five. But now you also have the choice at level four, like, well, I could also build an off world. Um, so I'm not sure really what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to kind of, it's going to kind of throw a lot of the current balance up in the air. Um, but, uh, you know what? We still have a few months left. So, uh, you know, anything we can do to improve the game, we're still going to try to do that. Um, and uh, it, it also, I think, is kind of nice just because each upgrade has a thing associated with it now. Level 2 lets you do something, level 3 lets you do something, level 4 lets you do something, level 5 lets you do something. Kind of like sometimes every once in a while in Civ you could have kind of like these dead techs that don't really give you any benefit, which was never seen as really a great thing. We wanted to always feel like every tech gave you something, and I mean, in off-world, like level 3 and level 4 didn't give you anything besides more, more claims. Um, so. All right. Um, so right now I'm just waiting for I am waiting for game story he says it's gonna be here in a couple minutes. Um, so I guess I will just wait for that. I wonder if I can see the rankings now. Huh. Is this really next version? I better make it do a quick check to make sure that... Do a quick check to make sure that the stuff I just told you about is actually happening. Ooh, 
that. Yeah, you and you can see the pleasure dome's in a new location now because with Alpha three it unlocks at a different time. Hmm. So I don't know why the I was supposed to be showing you wins and losses. I'm not showing the score there. Hmm. I changed this pop up help to to, to be show wins and losses. We're gonna get a whole new screen for this. So that would be cool. Yeah. Match available? Hmm. Probably not. Considering we're on next version. We probably shouldn't show that. Because I think we're on different versions. Yeah, there's some other there's some other differences. Alright, so game player is ready. All right, uh, let's uh, let's do this thing. Do a small map. Gonna get ready to lose. All right, ready up. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, it's important to know what type of colony you have, whether it's a European or a US or whatever. But uh, you know, I mean, it's the first pass. I literally just used whatever tech was already in there to show text. So I'm sure we can figure out ways to make it look better. All right, what do we got here? No, well, some reasonable scavenger spots. Is there like an awesome science spot? No, no, that's this one right there is. Let's see, I could, I could. What is that? That's not bad. So I see at least two spots that I would find. So I think we're gonna let this one, I'll let this one tick down pretty well. I'd be we happy out colony way. found it. Alright, I'm gonna get What an excellent location for a lab. Well done on finding it. Now then. The day is ticking, and there is much research to be done. Where did you go? It's funny, you picked you pick and pick either of the spots that I would have picked. Money I'm making off the reactors, turn that into glass. Rebaltic colony expanded. It's going fast.
new design for the colony layout is simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increased resources. Oh man. Well. Probably shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't have that pleasure on Spike saying the price of power. And I'm just going to claim, so that means my glass furnace doesn't get a. New pet up for auction. Three. Okay. So this is another thing. Energy Vault which is, is significantly different now. It actually refills automatically. So this could be actually pretty huge. Have <laughs> you ever seen Energy Vault bid up like this before? Alright, I'm gonna make you go 24. That's fine. Remarket colony expanded. You now, what distractors? I'm already starting to think about where that where that bug is, basically. Optimistic projections. Just the one claim left. New land is available for auction. Bidding will begin at four thousand. Ha! <laughs> it's auctioning off pleasure dome tiles. Nice. Robotic colony expanded.
black mark in his eye. Your new design for the colony layout is simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increased resources. Oh no! That's a great, great move. If I raise my, my glass and those, they become money holes. New land is available for auction. Bidding will begin at five. Thousand. There's a very relevant plot. Six thousand. Seven thousand. Nine thousand. Ten thousand. Twelve thousand. Sixteen thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty four thousand. Careful, I'm the network virus. His uh, electronics factories. Mine, mine better be turned off too. The silicon price is just too crazy. Oh, it's cheap. The black market is online. The black market is online. So where is your alpha? We're gonna ask the question. It's not there. You're not working on anything? I probably just short something. Canvas must be canvas. Bidding will begin at seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand, four 
To break our stuff. Yeah, your stock is being bought. The black market is online. Your stock is being bought. Why isn't it shipping? Your stock is being bought. Your stock is being bought. Crap. Your stock is being bought. Your stock is being bought. So I should have bought more of my stock. Maybe shouldn't have gone for the off-world. Got to be real careful about the shortages. I mean, I should be able to see that coming. Especially with spies. You got a hacker ray. We got a hacker ray up, but you got spies. You should build your own hacker ray so you can surplus whatever the other guy's shorting. It would have totally ruined the strategy. So that's why it went wrong. But um, it was a good game. Felt pretty good. Funny that, I mean, I guess I wasted the claim on the Pleasure Dome because it just did Pay off. I did. I did drop the amount of money you get from the pleasure dome by about a sixth. But uh, but yeah, I don't know why. I mean, two player game. There's less less profit from the pleasure dome. Yeah, I don't know. Funny. All right, uh, game slayer, you're gonna have to explain to me what happened with the energy vault. Sounds like you got a pretty good deal. That kind of threw me off too. Yeah, no, that's true. I definitely shouldn't have. And you can tell when you mouse over the pleasure dome icon, it'll tell you how much money you can make off of it. So that was my fault. You know, I mean, I, I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done that. There was no reason to. Um, yeah, basically that's true. Well, I think the colony grows faster in a four-player game. I mean, this colony size is going to affect the Pleasure Dome as well. So, Energy Vault sold. I guess you sold all the energy at first. I think you're not supposed to get the energy. I think it's supposed to just fill up once you start getting it. Getting it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I tested it. I don't know why in some way. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take a look. I'm sure I can figure it out. All right, if anyone else wants to play, well, they're welcome to join us. Even if someone wants to just, uh, even if this is a third player, someone wants to do a whole game, game slayer, I'd be happy to observe. Yeah. <laughs> Turned out to be a pretty good deal for you. Um, Anyway, I'm just happy that I think that once we get this working, our um, energy vault will be uh, another, another one nice piece. You know, as each of the patents becomes more viable for various reasons, you know, just makes the whole patent game a lot more interesting. All right, I guess we'll just try again. Nice to know that the game has changed, but Game Slayer is still winning. Let me know what you think about the stock. How did you think the stock price was that game? Do you think we should have been in the low twenties? Did that seem about right to you? Oh, we're on next version. You have to use the password to get to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically like a solar panel, like a free solar panel, basically. Except, of course, you can't get adjacency bonuses off of it, and you can't actually sell it. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to get used. I mean, it, I think it's actually, it's a pretty cool patent. At this point, I think it's just a question of, like, are some of the other patents more important early on? All right, I'm, I'm ready to play whatever you are. You made basically all your money off for chemicals, right? 
Uh, no, not beta 7. It's, there's something called next version. Uh, the password is Mohican Sun. I'll type it right here. Basically, you need to go to the um, you need to go to the um, uh, you need to go to the properties tab. Like right click on your game, you'll see there's uh, properties, and then there's a betas tab. You have to type in that password, and then that unlocks the next version beta. Okay, great. So yeah, we're on the next version branch. All right, we're gonna play a game. I mean, two player games go pretty quick, so we should get another game in after this. All right. Ooh, a high silicon that's in the middle of nowhere. That's not too awesome. Well, there's two mediums next to each other. I'd like to see if there's underground nukes, but it's just telling me the King Morgan is playing off world, which is not helping me right now. But this is a pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting um, scientific location here. There are no nukes, so this is actually viable. So I could go here as scavenger, or I could go here as scientific. I would probably think this would be a good bounty spot, right? I'm gonna do it in a way where that's probably the best, the best possible spot. What an wow! I actually got a bonus for that. Well done on finding it. Now then. The day is ticking, and there is much research to be done. Found it. My robotic, of course. He loves robotics. He just, to me, this looks like a generic spot. It's like, okay, you got high iron. But, you know, I mean, what who am I to talk? He's been the last game, so... Um. Alright, now I just gotta wait for the steel to come in. And the question is now, will I go glass right away? I mean, I might as well. I got that giant water field next to me, which is... He's not really gonna mess around with. Um, I mean, I'll get some high aluminum, of course. He's robotic, so I don't have to worry about the. I don't have to worry about the pleasure dome so much. I've never Can seen such elegant teams of funding. We'll have more facilities open in no time. Seems like I didn't have enough. Oh, I think I just had extra money lying around from founding. That was. I should have found it earlier. I think it was a big mistake on his part not to. Steel's pretty good, so I'll use it to buy up. Alright, I'm in a pretty good spot. Online. I split the steel mills pretty well. It doesn't know that I don't really like to use the black market early on, even though I should. Uh, I do, <laughs> I honestly, I do if I'm not playing game, because some of like Game Slayer. Game Slayer is so fast that I'd be, you know, I just don't know if I could afford to use it, basically. But, um, let's see how it goes. But the way he's, he's you know, arranged his guys, it's almost impossible to, uh... One thing I might do is pirates. Because if I can pirate, he's a little bit... Basically, I, I also it's it's a it's a dual thing because it lets me um, drive up the price of of pirates, which is what I want as scientific. Because I'm gonna eventually to start shipping some, you know. Robotic colony expanded. Jesus, I love free. That's crazy. Even with me stealing his aluminum. Our growth is surpassing my most optimistic projections. Oh, jeez, it's all the way over there. Oh, all right. Ah, uh, good. Let's move with one claim. Oof. The black market is online. I guess I'm just going to some water. Thank you for the Illumina. Appreciate that. 
tile? Where's Manta tile? Oh yeah. I better get that off. And I better get myself. I'll just go and throw that down right now. What? I need some solar power. This is getting crazy. New land is pleasure new Dome spot. Well, Pleasure Dome is useless right now. It would just be a money pit. But I could use it for a solar panel. Thousand, seven, thousand. It's not going to be like that. Um, well, we'll see. I, I mean, I get the, the algorithm wrong. I mean, if there, I, if there was another geotherm available on this map, it probably would have come up for auction right now. Robotic colony expanded. Uh, he's done a good job of spraying out his uh, stuff. Oh, that's steel price. Cool. Oh, there's three claims? Jeez. Black market is online. Uh, Change what to do, do with it. Price power. Pretty much have to. Well, I really tank the price of these things to find that. Power? There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Why? Your new design for the colony layout is right. simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increase in the black resources. market is online. Robotic colony expanded. Jesus, level five, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's do it 
cheap. It's a good thing I have scientific. Unless maybe we should do nothing off the seal. Our growth is surpassing my most optimistic projections. The black market is online. Filthy bandits. New pack Five, up for auction. Bidding will be six thousand seven thousand eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand twelve. Thousand fourteen thousand sixteen thousand eighteen thousand. He's got bad debt, so I should be able to push him. So yes. Glass? The black market is online. Is being bought. Really? Your stock is being bought. Are you making your money? You have an offer market? You do have an offer market. Your stock is being Dang. bought. Where did you make your money? No, it was just off of that glass thing? Oh man, I shouldn't have fallen for that. Thousand. So. Uh, he's probably got me. 
thing I can do is get the off-world market. Our hackers have compromised the trading servers. Price manipulation begins shortly. The black market is online. You started my last buy. Yeah, the funny thing is you didn't even need the glass, you didn't even need the glass storage to go and play. So yeah, we got this interesting level now. Now you know you got a hacker, you got a hacker, right? But then you know there's spies, so then you know that your opponent might be watching what you're hacking. And then what do you do when some, you know someone's hacking glass, you buy glass, which drives up the price of glass. But now your opponent's driven up the price of glass, and you're staying on glass, so just sell the glass. It's like the last thing you want to do. The correct thing to do there is just surplus the glass, but you need, you need a hacker right up before the other guy does. You're glass surplus will come through before it's glass storage if you start it soon enough. But I didn't have a hacker array up. I got a hacker array up. Hacker arrays are important. No pleasure domes! <laughs> pleasure domes are underpowered, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, was the stock price too low? Could be. I mean, he just made more money than I did, you know? I, I think it's the main problem. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think the problem there was the stock price. Um, but man, like it was, there was you know I lost I lost you know lost bad, but there was some good stuff going on there. Um, yeah, it may be that the surpluses should happen faster. Could be I don't know if it's half the time. I mean, if it's half the time, that should probably be all right. And the main thing is I just need the price to go down before it goes up because once that start price, well, I mean, as long as it takes a while for a start faster or less delay when they, they trigger. Because even if my, as long as my surplus started while, as long as my surplus happened while your shortage was happening, I'd be fine, really. Because, you know, you, it would force you to sell at the beginning of the shortage, not the end of the shortage. It's funny though, neither of us had glass at all, right? So it's like you can look for what are the, what are the resources that my opponents not made that I am making my post not making, but really if neither of you is making the resource, then it's, you know, it's advantage. Um, the graphs underneath the prices help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can see that I was buying it up, buying up the glass. Yeah, I mean, that's great. It, it helps increase that skill, skill differential between the good players and the bad players. Um, I mean, at this point, you know, I, you know, new players are just going to get crushed by someone who knows uh, knows these things about the game. Um, but, you know, that's probably the way it's got to be. Zero entertainment revenue. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to turn the off road back up a little bit. But it is interesting. Let me go back to reserve. So right now, the Pleasure Dome would, would be losing you money. I mean, because power was, was doing pretty well. Go back. To How did I do on? Uh, so he's made thirty thousand more than I did. Solaswick needs to like take the stock purchases out because that's like that's how he won. Like I want to see. He made thirty thousand more than I did. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that, the colony on growing. It could be because on a two-player game, I think the colony grows slower. Um, with glass that cheap, perhaps you shouldn't have been selling it. Save some up for a hacker, play yourself, or bait me into destroying glass then. Yeah, I suppose that's true. You should maybe never sell glass if it's at $40. I mean, what's the point? I did some things where I, I did a... Basically, I, I did a control strip down for a few very specific reasons. I don't remember what they were. I wanted, I needed one extra claim at one point, so I know I did that. Um, not much use of the hacker... of the, uh, S, of the Not much use of sabotage, either. Wait, I must have... I used more... I think the stat is not right. Uh... Because I know I hit you with a, 
Was this that this game or last game? Did I hit you with a I hit you with a power surge, didn't I? Let me see here. I bought a power surge. I bought two goon squads. I bought pirates, power surge, three spies. I bribed a claim. That's not right. That should be. Yeah, bribe a claim, right? Duh. Um, according to this, I hit you once. Which I guess is right. I don't know how. It's hard to count the pirates. Um, but if you go to the summary. It says you used one sabotage. Did you even use? Did you use a sabotage on me at all? Uh, black market. What did you buy in the black market? You buy corporate spy and pirates. So it could be that this is just straight up backwards. Backwards. Oh yeah. No. I, sorry. I'm sorry. This chart is just hard to read. I sabotaged you once. You got targeted once. It's just unfortunate. This chart, I don't know if there's any way to make this chart easier to read. It's just, you know, unfortunate. So this is nice. Now these things are like split up. Of course, we didn't actually do any technology or patents. Uh, but anyway, from the patent screen, you can see all the patents that different you had financial instruments. I have petrol motion slant drilling. Um, so go back to the summary. It's interesting because um, at the end of the day, you only made thirty thousand more than I did. So where did I throw that money away? But I threw away an extra twenty thousand on the black market. So you got fifty thousand more than I did. Um, yeah, if you observe the game, basically, well, I mean, I didn't make you finish it out. You probably, I mean, you were probably didn't actually have the cash to finish it out at this point. But obviously, you were as soon as you shipped. So you basically were able to buy. I had by one, so these two things cancel out. These two shares here cancel out, and you um, you bought seventy thousand. So somehow you made seventy thousand more than I did, basically, and that's represented here. This is thirty thousand, and then there's the twenty thousand gap in um, the twenty thousand gap in uh, black market purchases, and uh, maybe it's debt is the other difference. Yeah, you're you have more debt. Which means that you know you had essentially more cash. Uh, still got to think through the best way to show these screens because, to some extent, we should split this up into. Uh, it would be great if this was more. If this, what this needs to show is actual cash flow, right? So infantry charges almost don't even matter. It's more of how much money did you have to put money into paying off debt. I'm going to have to think this through. Um, it would be great to show, like, okay, this is how much actual cash you had on hand, because it, you, this is not really representative, because you had an extra, basically, $50,000 in debt. Um, it's hard to have these conversations where you're you're chatting 10 seconds behind me. Um, but that would have been true. But but basically, like it looks like you only made thirty thousand more than I did. But you had you had at least seven or eighty thousand more. I mean, of course, like that. But there's there's sort of an extra missing factor, which is um, the amount you had in extra de debt. And part of your extra debt was this extra interest that you had that I did have. Um, but of course, it wasn't enough to make make up the difference. So you know, you did take advantage of your debt. But ultimately, you know, it was that all that glass. So I'm going to have to think through um, the best way to show cash flow. To show cash flow. We'll get these right by the end. Um, right, like stock purchases maybe shouldn't even be shown here at all, right? I mean, unless of course you do sell them. Um, but maybe, you know, we should have something. Above there. Uh, what are you guys saying? Done. Show proper. According to resources sold, I made 40,000 more than you. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about right. You made 40,000 more than me, plus I put an extra 20,000 into the black market. Um,
And the difference in the stock purchases are about 80,000. Um, Oh yeah, okay, right. So if you, if you take away the interest charges, this bumps up to be about forty thousand, a forty thousand dollar difference. And then you, if you look at the black market purchases, that's another twenty thousand. That gets up to eighty thousand, and that that's where you get this difference in stock purchases. In fact, I think I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, um, to, so I can sort of remember this as an example of like where you gotta rearrange them and stuff. Um, the one thing that's awkward is the stock sales because you can actually make cash off of that, right? It's not just a total um, black hole. Okay. Um, miscellaneous revenue. <laughs> so that means financial instruments. So you paid $18,000 in debt for it, you got 1300 out of it. So maybe that was not, not worth it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let me switch. Sorry, it's going to take me away there. All right, it's 11.15. Um, and uh, it'd be awesome if all those numbers did come out in a way that was super useful. So it's, it's worth spending some time on. Um, let's try. Let me get beat again. But that's all right. I'm learning. So let's try one more game. King Morgan, if you wanted to play, that would be awesome. Nope. New guy showed up, Elex. Um, well, now, if King Morgan, if you want to come in, we'd have four if Game Slayer wants to play again. King Morgan's in here? Alright, that's great. I'll say I just want to know if he knew what was going on or whether he just like was joining this random game. Well, he must know what's going on. Sorry, my fault. We're on next version, obviously. Um, okay. Um, okay, I don't mind if you keep watching the stream. That's not a big deal. I don't think... I know I personally am not good enough to actually learn from a screen 10 seconds behind. Streams 10 seconds behind. It's amazing to me in that last game, the Game Slayer let me take a dollar bonus. Oh, can it? All right. Um, he let me take the bonus there. Uh, I'm going to switch to Observer then. The $700 bonus to found where I did. When he found it, it basically, a, what to me is a mediocre spot. I mean, basically, his his definition of a good robotic spot is just high iron, right? <laughs> um, okay. Game Slayer. Sorry to do this, Game Slayer GS. I am going to make you play on Executive. I'm going to make you play on Executive. Sorry. Unless you want to do teams. You and Felix versus GS. And Elix versus KM. That in the last multiplayer game, 
Or kill me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Ah, this is a change. We changed the difficulty. There we go. Radio. Executive's not that much of a difference. You start with a thousand dollars less cash, and you pretty well. You do produce stuff ten percent slower, so it will make a difference. But think of it this way: when Game Slayer loses, if he loses, he'll have a great excuse. So we'll be cool. Map size. Oh, I guess we can just find it. Uh, we're not doing team. We're not doing team. Okay, here we go. All right, what type of map do we have here? Woo, nice scavenger spot over there. So, if one person goes scav. Um, plenty of iron. Well, there's only three. Oh. Wow, amazing, amazing scientific spot. Hard to know where to found, but you wouldn't want to stop any of this beautiful stuff here. No, King Morgan should have made it. Uh, Man, what a shame! That's a great scientific spot. Start manufacturing Q. So we got a scavenger. Someone for the scavenger spot. We got two spans. So pleasure dome should be a factor this game. King Morgan, we got Game Slayer going for the Oh, I didn't notice this either. Double double geotherm. Wow, that's gonna be nice. I I wait, three geotherms? <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> this could be distressing. The danger here is he could almost end up killing power. Um so I guess we shall see. In terms if you went expansive, the reason Game Slayer went expansive. Um Oh yeah, New Moscow. The reason that Game Slayer went expansive was because he wanted the cheaper Geotherms because you knew he was going to build two of them. So, great move on, great move on Game Slayer fronts. However, he's in a funny position because he's not producing any steel. He's going to have to earn his way to the next level purely off of the Geotherm making, you know, 90 bucks. Colony expanded. Uh, and he had to sell his glass to make that Geotherm also. He could have ended up mm, screwing himself over. Does he have a higher, you know, his upgrade costs are not higher at, at executive. So that's good at least. But he's just gonna hope no one else builds power. If no one else builds power, he should be fine. Maybe. I mean, he's still gonna buy that glass. Now, Game Slayer likes going for crazy moves, so. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I should have had Elix play on an easier level instead of pushing that Game Slayer up to a harder level. So, sorry Game Slayer. Oh, here's another good scientific spot. Um, but no one wanted to be scientific. Alright, so for Pleasure Dome, well, lots of good... Uh, yeah, this is a good spot, this is a good spot to, to clip up into Pleasure Dome. Uh, Alright, Game Slayer can upgrade. All -time high, does. Thanks to the and... To oh, you get another Geotherm down, well, you're gonna be making to bank. Off Earth so just no a time. steel mill. Uh, this guy cool steel mills up. The steel mills are crappy, frankly, right now. They're barely making anything. So yeah, he'd be better off with just two metal mines, which is... Eh. Well, it looked, it looked like that he was doing this. He's still... He must have found it last, at the very least, because he got, these, he got those extra kind of... He's still seeing a claim. What would I do with that if I was Expansive him? Colony expanded. Water, silicon... And he's just going for the third steel mill. I guess once you get the triangle, like, it... it will actually be making money for you, so that's fine. It's gonna drive up his power costs, so he's gonna to want to get that geotherm up as soon as possible. In the meantime, how's King Morgan going? He's so you know, considering that he's a manager like everyone else, he's probably the favorite of this game. King Morgan, what he's doing, and he's oh, he's playing well. He's splitting up his stuff. Uh, he's got a glass burn, so I don't think he necessarily needed two aluminum mines. Um, I guess we shall see. Rebaltic colony expanded. Who got hit? Game Slayer was hit by an EMP. Oh, ow. That's brutal. That's brutal. However, however, he, 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 at the end of the day, he may actually make more money off of that, considering the fact that uh, 
look, these these steel mills were costing him twenty five bucks in power, and he was making only about forty bucks. So really, actually, in a sense, that EMP may have done him a little bit of a favor. I mean, it's still bad, but it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, sorry, I should I should have picked masquerade. Um, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Was a bad. Wasn't a. Wasn't a good sabotage. So what is this? It's just a low water tile? Eight. Why is this one up for auction? There's nothing better? I guess all of the primary resources are crappy, which is why it's going to be a water tile, but you figure it would be a high water tile. Why did a low water tile go for auction? Why low water up for auction? Not high water. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's obvious who you are. Right, so, oh, I got one mutiny away. That's painful. It's hard to afford the, the boat. So that was just bad luck. Um, someone guessed correctly. Oh, maybe the someone to spy. I'm going to spy down to find that out. Doesn't look like it. Um, let's find out who who did the mutiny. Is that going to be King Morgan? No, it's Elix. It's the new player. Oh, that's rough. Um, so, the community's about to finish up. Game Slayer could really use the cash. He's actually got some debt. That's that's really what he does not need right now, is debt. Um, that Muni hurt a lot. He'll do anything he can to get that second... Man, that Muni is rough. To get that second... Uh, the hard part is everyone now knows that it doesn't have a Goon Squad on it. Unless the Goon Squad price goes up, they'll know that it's it's vulnerable. However, there's... I think people have bigger fish to fry. They should not worry about those Geotherms for the moment. Oh, okay, Morgan's going for it. Ah, oh, man. Game Slayer must not be having a good time. Uh, right now. It looks like Elix is alright. When a name comes up that I don't recognize, I'm always, I always feel uh, worried about them. Um, but it looks like he's taking care of himself. How much would the Pleasure Dome make right now? Pleasure Dome! Oh! Pleasure Dome right now would be making 336 bucks. Uh, in an ideal location, that means if you got all six tiles around you. So if you put one here, I would guess you were making about 250. So that could be worth it. I'm surprised Game Slayer hasn't jumped on that. Um, Oh, did he just get? He must have just got a union, and then he union in the back. That's yeah, rough. Well, he is. I mean, he's making plenty of money off of power. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, oh, and King Morgan sold out of him. Interesting. What's King Morgan up to? He's got the. You know, we got some new art for the glass furnaces. Uh, the glass furnaces are making money. Steel mills. Steel mills are doing all right. What is there any resources for? Reactors. Why don't you have reactors, King Morgan? Uh, Game Slayer does have reactors. You see the one guy on the board with reactors? If he is, that's a huge advantage. He's the only guy on the board with reactors? The best the best building on the map? Alright, good good job. <laughs> Everyone else is napping. Uh, he doesn't even have a source of water, it looks like. I don't think yeah, King Morgan oh he's got one water pump somewhere. Yeah, way over here. Oh he got that low water. <laughs> now I'll note that the ice condensers are probably not a bad move. They don't consume power and they produce mm, 0.8 water for most people, a little less for for uh, Game Slayer. So I won't be surprised to see some 
some ice canisters come up at some point. And here comes that plush jump. Oh, did he get beat to it? Is he going for the same spot? Must be going for a different spot. Where is he going? Oh, no, no, sorry. He had his claim claim bought out earlier. So this is going to be making 290. It's going to be netting about $200 for him. We'll see if he starts moving into a pleasure dome. So that's one of the nice things. He knew that he was a no debt player. So a pleasure dome is a good move for him. So he can make money off of that. Keta is actually the first player to level five. So we've had uh, off world markets are available at level four now, um, but we haven't seen, um, we haven't seen any uh, off world markets uh, come up at level four yet, but it is a possibility. All right, nice. I like to see this game starts going for the patent office. I'd expect to see um, virtual reality coming up fairly shortly. Uh, he could sell out. Yep, he sold some resources. He's researching virtual reality. Is he going to hide it? It looks like he's not. He's not hiding his his patent patent lab. But he just got it. <laughs> ah, it's rough. King Morgan is having some. Debt problems. Oh, he does have an off world market up. Okay, and how good is the off world market right now? Well, that's not bad, 33,000. Uh, still does not. Okay, finally he's building some reactors because that price of oxygen is going to go up, up, up if people keep sending it off world. Ooh, an adrenaline boost. This should go for. This should. Okay. This should go for way more. Who's bidding? It is. King Morgan's bidding 9. Game Star's bidding 10. King Morgan's speed 12. This should go for at least 20. 18. 18 for Game Slayer. You guys, the other guys, King Morgan is 20. Game Slayer, you gotta go for 24. They both could do things with it. King Morgan could boost his off world. Uh, Game Slayer could boost his pleasure dome. And it's gonna go to. We got it. Oh, went to Elix. He jumped in at the last moment to grab it. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it. Probably for the best. Uh, so that must be a hologram, right? No. He has his engineering... He's a steel mill. The steel mill looks like a fake engineering lab. That's weird. I assume, he, I assume he's going to put a sort of a long-term play. He's going to put an off-road market there eventually, I guess. Um, his off-road market is visible. No, it's hard around, too. Sorry. So it's unclear if everyone knows he's got an off-road market. Whoa! Uh, I haven't seen that art before. Uh, so King Morgan is starting to ship stuff off-world. Uh, so is Kenneth. He's got a, a, a visible off-world market that everyone can see. Um, King Morgan looks like he's been paying off his debt. Might be his first priority. Stock price, I mean, his stock price is very low. It's $15. And he's got level 5 with an off-world market. So he is definitely vulnerable right now. So it's definitely something to watch out for. Um, does Game Slayer have a type of money? He does have the type of money. He could make a run on King Morgan. He's got... He could buy three of the shares. Um, oh man, he got mutinied again. Oh, that is brutal. Those geotherm mutinies are just brutal. We'll be able to ship more industries off Earth in no time. And Elis got another pleasure dome up. Okay, well, good on him. That's that's the, the move you got to make in this type of game. So now this actually his pleasure dome is losing money. Of course, Elix is just losing even more. But uh, oh man, that's that's rough for Kings for for Game Slayer. However, he's about to get virtual reality. He does, interestingly, he used the Goon Squad on the Pat Lab instead of on his other Geotherm, and then he got he got punished for it. The black market is online. Who got the mutiny down? That was King Morgan. Well, that makes sense. He's got to pay off that debt. And here's a dust storm. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to make a huge difference since we got a lot of Geotherms on this map. Elix turned off the Pleasure Dome, which is good for him, bad for everyone else, because now Game Slayer is actually making money. Kenneth's saying on a huge run of cash. Uh, King Morgan made a run on Kenneth, but Kenneth was able to defend himself. Oh, interesting to see if King Morgan keeps his money, money in that, in Kenneth, because he's still vulnerable to a buyout. Um, all right, there we go. There's virtual reality. So that pleasure dome is now raking at 670. I feel like the pleasure dome's in the right neighborhood. I mean, he's the only guy, a, a size 10 I'm colony. Sure it should be making a lot store, of money here. But there's one up for auction now. Has Elix yeah. used his adrenaline boost? Ah. Yeah, he must have. Magnetic storm. Well, could do some damage here, so. but it's probably not going to go for a lot. Um, the question is for Kenneth. Game Slayer doesn't have much cash. So, uh, well, he's got 30,000. So for, he's 300,000 to buy out Kenneth. That's the one sort of like dangerous thing right now. You can get to 300,000 and he has two off-world markets. So this is the potential winning play here for, wow, he's, wow. 
He's Goon Squad two of his solar panels. You think he would save that for um, needing them on the off of market? The spies are only three thousand. That's crazy. You think that it's time to throw starting time to throw down some spies to figure out what's going on? Elix is sitting on a ton of cash. He could he could, he could make a run on King Morgan. All right, Game Slayer is making his run on. He's making his. He's just. I mean, right now. Oh my gosh! Look how much money he's making. He's making 600 from the Pleasure Dome. He's making 3,000 a second. So Game Slayer is in the position he wants to. He's not making the run on King Morgan. He started, but... Alright, he could make a run on... He could make a run on Helix. He should just start using that cash. What did he do with it instead? He's circling off the market. The cash just disappeared. Nope, it's still there. Maybe he was selling or something. Let's see what happened. Yeah, you better do something with the cash while you can still buy. And we screw with While him. stock is still available. King Morgan, however, is in D debt. He's not close to getting out of it either. So it's kind of unfortunate for Game Slayer. He didn't get more of King Morgan. Oh, whoop. I just said he couldn't uh, get out yeah. of it. He must have just stock paid through the sold. nose to uh what happened? Someone just sold. Did King Morgan just sell some stock to uh No Game Slayer. Game Slayer sold sold Look some stock and King Morgan probably gets to buy stock himself. I mean he is vulnerable. He had all that money. He should have at least made sure he had five of his own shares. That's I assume that's what he's gonna do with his cash right now. He's still probably making money hand over fist. But that energy price has really dropped. But the nice thing for King Morgan uh, the nice thing for Game Slayer is as that energy price drops, it just means he's making more money off of his pleasure though. Um Wow, three geotherms. He needs to figure out a way to jack up that power price. I mean, certainly no one else is making anywhere near as much power as he does. He's one guy, uh, King Morgan's making four. Everyone else is barely riding. In fact, these guys are negative in power. So he might want to just start shorting power. I mean, why not? You've got the you've got the uh, geotherms. New land is available for auction. Eight thousand. Oh wow, slow strikes are available and no one's used them yet? Yeah, that's that is true. Of course, no one can see those off worlds. And no one has spies, no one's about spies or slowdown strikes. That's kind of inexcusable. Chat message for selling stock. It's hard to be hard to say how this game is gonna turn out. King Morgan's stock price is still very, very low. Kenneth has Kenneth only needs 390 to buy him out. Who's getting close? Who has the who's the cash right now? Um, King Morgan by Sar has the biggest stock. Well, Kenneth has about 150. King Morgan has about 100. No, well, they both have about the same. So, but King Morgan is a much better position to do a buyout because he's got four shares of Kenneth. So he's he's over halfway there. Shipment launched. Kenneth, on the other hand, they both have two off-worlds. Kenneth has a lot of money. He needs over 400,000. So he needs 50,000 more than King Morgan does. So King Morgan has the lead. The only thing that's 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 really separating them is that King Morgan's got that D... Uh, he's got that D uh, bond rating. Kenneth just got hit by a big EMP. I would guess that was King Morgan. I see he, dropped, he suddenly popped up to C. He may have paid off his debt to be able to buy an EMP. Uh, it might be just or, or not. I mean, it's just that's that's a possibility. Still, slowdown strikes are three thousand. If you want to hit Kenneth, just drop a slowdown strike here. You're going to get one of the off worlds. I mean, come on. Thinking machines acquired. About time. Uh, although I'm not sure if that was necessarily the best of all the different options that are available. Um, I mean, I would go for financial instruments. I mean, you got Kenneth and King Morgan both and. Uh, who are both on very, very bad levels of debt. But the the, the branch point in this game is basically which uh, Kenan or King Morgan, which one of them is going to get the buyout. They're very, very close. King Morgan... Actually, Kenan's actually gotten ahead. How has Kenan gotten ahead? I mean, he's got more... The black market is, is he online. making money faster somehow? No, he's got more money now. He's, he's outpacing him. Does he have a... Uh, King Morgan's got the... Uh, has he researched more? Or is the research? Kenneth has... King Morgan has the advantage in stock. I'm not sure he's, he's making more money. Is he shipping better... Better Is Kenneth shipping better stuff? Um, well, right now he's not even shipping anything. So that doesn't... 
quite sure what happened there. Off-world shipment launched. He kind of maybe doesn't know about auto launching because right now his uh, off market is not launching. Uh, of course, to be fair, nothing off world is really worth all that much. Uh, King Mori, on the other hand, is auto launching oxygen and is manually launched some iron. Sounds fine. Uh, does Game Slayer have an alpha market up? He does have an alpha market up at last. Um, where is it? Am I blind? I can't. I can't see his alpha market. Where is it? Where's your alpha market? I know it's hologrammed. What's going on here? Oh, Games Layer bought Elix. Wow, I didn't sort of see that. I'm still trying to figure out where this is off from market. I don't. Off-world shipment launched. Okay. So he inherited an off-world market. But... King Morgan and Kennan have both decided instead to buy back their own stock. Hmm. That's an interesting situation. I think they might have been better off going for the kill against either of the other ones. I'm not sure who pulled the trigger first. Um, because, that you know, once Gamestar gets the buy, long-term, he's going to be able to get the win. I'm still confused about this. There's just two off of markets. Maybe he had a mutiny that I just didn't see. That must have been it. He must have had an off-road market mutiny. So in that case, that means he basically he did the buy without an off-road market. And that's that's brilliant. But let's see how much um, how much money was he making off of that. Well. Now he made 350000 off of off of his pleasure dome. Um, which is almost half as much as King Morin's made from his two off worlds. So that's a sign of how great Pleasure Dome can be. Um, and as for auto sold, um, and as you can see, he auto sold another $280,000 of power. So basically, um, you can see that uh, you know, Game Slayer basically made as, as much from his power in Pleasure Dome as the other guys made off of their off world markets. And now King, Game Slayer is in the, the position where he can benefit off of the fact that he. Um, you know, hat is twice the size as everyone else, and now he's already got his third. He's got his third off road market up. Where did he put that one? Or did he mutiny someone's? Yeah, okay. He mutinied this guy. He mutinied, uh, like, Kenneth's just fine. And Kenneth's down in D debt. Alright, so he's having, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of stumbled after buying his own of his own stock back. Um, he might have let his, his debt get out of control. Uh, let's see how much he's got, 270. Kim Morgan, on the other hand, actually was able to buy his way out of debt. You know, I, I assume he bought his way, because I don't think he paid it off with power. Game Center is still making a bunch of money off of, uh, off of power. And the alpha market is making about $800 a second. You know, he's just... wow. So he's making about $1,000 a second just off of that stuff. And of course now he is actually making... he's got four alpha markets going, making lots of money. I mean... Not that much money, actually. The alpha market is not great, considering how valuable um, the alpha prices are. So now the right move, does he not even have an industrial lab up, though? That's interesting, because you figure the move at this point is basically to try to double down on science. Um, Off-world shipment launched. But yeah, he doesn't have any science at all. Yeah, he just made the money off of the power and the... Uh, Off-world shipment launched. Look at all the money. He just made the money off of the power and Pleasure Dome. Um, and I assume he's making a pretty penny off of these uh, electronics factories, too. Um, off world shipment launch. He's tabs to look clear. at all the money. Be clear. Be clearly associated with the buildings. Well, I think this is going to be Game Slayer's game. Uh, well, how much money does King Morgan have? He's not 500,000, but he needs 1.3 million to use the Game Slayer. Game Slayer, on the other hand, only needs 800,000. So, 
Yeah, they have a three hundred thousand dollars difference in, in, uh, in money, but you know, Game Slayer is going to outpace them pretty quickly. So this is what I was talking about earlier: the fact that King Morgan and Kenneth, although they, although they guaranteed the fact they weren't going to lose by buying buying their stock back, they also kind of guaranteed that they were going to lose long term because what that meant was they they kind of gave up going up to a second level having a second HQ where they could have multiple off worlds and of course just generally more more territory um, so you know they protected themselves but I think they would have been better better going for the risk of like even though they they weren't gonna be able to tell which one of them was going to be able to to survive to keep gunning for each other um, Yeah, I may want to watch the replay to watch those 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 buyouts to see um, just how much money. So what I'm worried about is if they did buy, if one bought out the other, like I don't know who. I assume King Morgan probably pulled the trigger world, first, world, maybe, world, and then that would have sent a bunch of money to Kenneth. But would that money have been enough to make up for uh, the difference world, in price? I may need to look change it so that when you buy back your own shares, like the other players get double get double the price. And there now goes the game slayer. Buy back shares double to opponent. Because it's not supposed to extend the game indefinitely. And there's lots of stuff you can do if you know you're in debt to basically you know force it down. Uh, if you know you're in debt, buy back your shares then and then pay off your debt. I mean that can be hugely advantageous. Yeah, they were having huge debt problems. Well, the price of power was pretty good. But it'd be interesting to know exactly where... Well, I remember there was that point... Um... <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. But uh, I think there was that point I saw where electrolysis was super valuable, and he was the only guy making it, which means everyone else was buying up. Like, So if you look at auto-purchase, let's look at these other guys. Um, I know King Morgan had debt problems. So he auto-purchased and had a lot of power. I guess it was basically power. Was King Morgan just not in power at all? I mean, he doesn't. I don't see any power here. I mean, these they've ever got deleted, but um, yeah, I don't see a lot of power. Um, and uh, I know Kenneth had that problem. So he was for him. It was the life support. He was getting cheating on food, oxygen, and fuel, and that's you know look, that's a lot of two hundred eighty thousand total bought from the market. King Morgan was at 200,000. Elix was, Elix survived, he did all right. Um, but yeah, if you look at the summary, look at these interest charges. Both King Morgan and Kenneth both had about $130,000, $150,000 in interest. And considering the fact that they did have to pay off debt, debt that did sort of impact their bottom line. Uh, yeah, you assume that people weren't gonna build electrolysis? Why is that? Yeah. So King Morgan, you had you so you produced power, but you ought to purchase a lot. It must have been that the price of power went really high while you were negative, or you were negative, and it just added up. Same research graph. Here's power. Yeah, there's a huge spike here in the middle. So I assume during this point, you know, you were losing to power. Um, oh, you just assumed that they were going to buy up oxygen. Yeah. No, it worked out. I mean, I think it worked out largely because no one else was, everyone else went for food, right? I mean, I mean that's always, that's always a good situation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, a lot of times people will just make, they'll look, what's more profitable? The farm, so the reactor is just choose the most profitable one, but you gotta think long term, you gotta look around and see what else is doing. Very well played game by Game Slayer. I mean, this is, this is why, you know, I, I thought you needed to play one difficulty up, you know. Did a good job. I will take note here. One of these pleasure domes should have been deleted. I mean, obviously, probably this one since it's not it's in a bad spot. It's not next to any of the, the habitats. Um, if you have if you have two pleasure domes, um, they'll split the money between them. If you only have one, you'll get all the money yourself. Especially, well, yeah. Um, so he should turn this into like a solar panel or something. Um, and so if you can get a monopoly in Pleasure Dome, that's awesome. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, it's true. You have to, since he was playing on executive, you had to worry a little bit more about that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, double geos. I mean, that's just, you know, that's awesome. And he played it well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what actually I tested it was referring to. Um, yeah, you drove the power price down, but, you know, you made quite a bit of money. How much money did you make off the power? Let's just try again. Um, resources, Game Slayer. Yeah, you made over 300,000 off of power. And 560. <laughs> so you made about a million dollars off of uh, entertainment, uh, off of the Pleasure Dome and, and power. Um, so, you know, yeah. And considering the fact that the Pleasure Dome just eats up power, you know, it means that, uh, you know, that was very much working in, out in your favor. Uh, you know, no one was really challenging you on that. Um, so, I mean, Elix did build a Pleasure Dome, which was good, but, you know, you got to get that power price power price down as well. I mean, that's what, that's the thing, like, seeing that you have those two geotherms, like, everyone else needs to get into a little bit of power. You can't afford to let the power price peak up when someone's got adjacent geotherms. It's just not going to work. Oh, you actually stopped auto selling. That makes sense. Um, yeah, habitats give a. It'll show you if you when you're building a, a pleasure dome. If you move it around, it'll show you how much money you'll make in all the different locations. And yeah, the habitats give you a pretty good, pretty good bonus. To them. And he was adjacent to four of them, so that worked out pretty well. All right. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna to have to get back to work. I got some things I'm gonna work. I got some notes from this game, and uh, hopefully, I can uh, make some improvements. But that's uh, that's the coming next version. Um, so it seemed like it worked out pretty well. Stock price was all right. Actually, I felt like stock price was better than in beta seven. Uh, be interesting to hear what you guys think about that. Um, seems like seems like the stock price worked out. It's nice to see that you know the price is actually less than a hundred at the end of the game. Um, and the price prices were low enough that I feel like someone could have done some interesting stuff with an early stock purchase. Um, so, uh, thanks for playing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show off. Yeah, yeah, I think everything is basically an improvement that we we can tell.